All right, so we're checking out the only game that will probably end up killing me. It's Project High Rise. I saw a video on YouTube, it was like some sort of viral video about what would it be like if a building had a thousand floors. And I said to myself, you know what? I want to know what it's like to slowly insert my thumbs into my eyes. So we're going to try and build a 1000 floor high rise. Uh, new game, damn it. Now the game doesn't let you build a thousand floors, so I edited some game files. So now it does let us build a thousand floors. It probably didn't originally let you build a thousand floors because the developer didn't want any deaths on his hands. West of Ursa Parkway. That's weak. All right, if you're going for the most tallest erect building in the universe, um, I don't know, Viagra Towers. Here we go. Welcome everyone to the beginning. Doesn't look like much, does it? If you just start panning up, it just keeps going up. I don't know if it eventually reaches space or what, because 1,000 floors, wasn't that like almost two miles? So I downloaded a ton of mods uh, just because. We're not playing skin the right way, man. I'm gonna go ahead and destroy the very fabric of reality. I downloaded a Tim Hortons mod and a Starbucks mod. I'm gonna put them right next to one another. So if suddenly, I don't know, like the power goes out in your area, you can just blame that. I really hope there's like an easy way to make this work. <laughs> oh my God. Can you zoom out any further? You cannot, oh, whatever. I never sat there and thought to myself about how long it would take to extend these floors all the way up to a thousand. It's a good time to mention something too, just fun fact for everyone. Uh, the average elevator can traverse one point, uh, in 1.5 seconds, one floor. So that means if we had a, a building that was a thousand stories tall, it would take 1500 seconds. I don't know, what is that? 25 minutes? 25 minutes of self-reflection. <laughs> 25 minutes of trying to figure out a way to etch your life inside of the friggin' elevator. Legit, I know it's possible for us to make a thousand floors, but I don't know, like, I don't know if the game can handle this or what. If, if we end up crashing, like, halfway out, we're already at 800 floors, but if we end up crashing the second I start putting, like, little buildings and stuff in here, I'm gonna be so sad. We're gonna have to do this in friggin' increments, because going up and down takes forever. Well, it's time to MS paint the hell out of some floors. Okay, we've only done 101 floors so far. I swear to God, if anyone did this in real life, someone needs to issue them a do whatever the hell you want card that they can just throw down on the table forever. Oh, hello there, Madam Business Suit. Perhaps it's time to consider some elevators. There's something interesting that I just learned about the elevators. You can't click and drag those. You have to click each freaking individual one. Okay, I had already crashed the game. <laughs> I had already crashed the game, but we got it back now. Everything seems to be working. It's just a matter of getting the floors built because the staff literally has to go through and build all the floors. This is part of the eye gouging process that I was telling you about. I don't care what it takes though. I said, we're gonna do it. We're gonna friggin' do it. We're gonna do this one piece at a friggin' time. I swear to God, I must be out of my damn mind. We're up to 200 floors. So the last building that we had made was 100 floors. So we were already at double and I could already feel my soul leaving my body. These builders have to be possessed with the souls of like 10,000 Bob Vila's because they never rest. They build 24 hours a day, every day, all day and I feel bad okay I feel bad trying to do a thousand floors these poor bastards have to legitimately build it all the way up you can see this is where the clouds stop over here so our building already shoots past the clouds so as I had mentioned for extra agony for gray the elevators aren't the only thing that you have to click on singularly in order to get them on every single floor the energy closets over here are the same damn way my fingers so tired <laughs> My new quest is to see how expensive I can get this tower per day. It's at negative 41,000 so far, and we're only at 200 floors. How y'all doing up here? We hate you, Gray. That's good. I'm glad. This is the type of relationship that I want with my staff. What floor are you guys on so far? 112? Not good enough. So I think what we'll do is we'll go ahead and extend this up to floor 300, uh, and, and then we'll start putting some stuff down, just because I think I'd like to get some people moved into the, uh, to the Viagra Towers. This way they too can overcompensate as much as humanly possible. Possible. I can only imagine what kind of conversation that is with your friends about where you work. Yeah, I got this new job. Oh, really? Where's it at? Viagra Towers. People would be like, isn't that a tower that some dumbass made 1,000 floors? Yep, that's the one. In case anyone's wondering, 
like how my staff manages to work so quickly they're insane like if i put these elevators down you ready for this they're gonna appear out of nowhere like freaking leprechauns just wait for it hold on there it is I don't know where they come from. The way that we do it basically is instead of uh, having areas with like Red Bull or coffee and stuff like that, I like to give my staff methamphetamine. Uh, that seems to work and keep them moving very quickly. I've started to move some people in. There's some uh, very odd things going on right now. I think that we've broken part of the game again because this area right over here just for some reason is, is unconstructible. The, the team just doesn't want to work on it. Like it's friggin' haunted or something. I have no idea why. Look at this. Totally normal construction down here. Suddenly, they just don't give a shit anymore. They just don't want to work. And then, back to totally normal construction. I, I don't know. There's like a million different services that you can offer your tenants of office spaces. Do I really need any of this? An executive club? Okay, I kind of want it just because it looks cool. There's like one executive in here drinking alone. This one lady. This is, a, this is such a solitary life. She's got a little flamingo over here. She's having a good time cradling a, a nice scotch in her hand. Probably gonna burn down my freaking hotel because she's got her cigarette just laying over here all alone. A shoe shine station? Okay. Sure. Who the hell uses payphones? Whatever. I put this common area in. It's a freaking wood burning stove inside of my hotel. I feel like this is breaking some. Uh, there's some sort of violation going on here or something. There's also like a full liquor bar sitting over here. Just putting some stores in because why not? You can have yoga services. All right. Sure. Dog walking services. God. You could have an aquarium in here. Again, this seems like a really bad idea, but I want it to happen. It's a damn whale. There's a damn whale inside of our inside of our giant skyscraper. How is this a thing? There's no way in hell this is safe. I'm just I just I don't know. I just stopped asking questions, I guess, at some point. I guess it needs a water connection. I don't know how I don't know how we managed to do this without a water connection in the first place, but whatever. Okay, so we now have a kick-ass hotel reception area. We have two of them. The loser one is up slightly more. You gotta go up a you gotta go up a couple more floors. But this one over here is where the ballers stay. You can tell because this one has two large plants. This one only has one large plant and one smaller plant. You can have a car demo booth in the friggin' lobby. Okay. This is different. I don't know what half of this does. I'm using all, I'm, I'm just building everything. I don't even care anymore. Mall security, sure, whatever. Customer support, yep. Here's some more vending machines. Here's a whole friggin' slew of them, a whole floor just dedicated to vending machines. Black market? You can have black market. <laughs> Info dealers, hold on. What other sort of illegal stuff could you have in here? Money laundering, perfect exactly what I always wanted inside of my hotel. I wonder what goes on in here. That was the friggin' tooltip. Sure. I'm gonna buy all this. Cause what the hell? Yep. Casinos. Fantastic. Glitz and glamour. Mm-hmm. Ah. Finally. I can have a friggin' casino inside of my... This is what I'm talking about. There we go. I think we'll have a casino every hundred floors or so. What the hell is he reading? Is this like his first day on the job? He's reading to figure out how to how to serve drinks or something like that? Someone orders a martini? He's like, I'm really not sure how to put this together. I should probably consult the manual. Everyone's consulting the manual. No one knows what they're doing. Got a bunch of friggin' noobs over here. Drug stores. Absolutely. I'm assuming these are all legal drugs. Marilyn. Time for a quick- Can you rename these people? I don't know why, but I just decided to give her like a D&D &D name. Her name is now Flabdor the Resilient. This is the tiniest friggin' hotel I've ever seen. Like, this room is the size of a bathroom. This poor bastard. Yeah, you better go out and get something to eat because you're not gonna be doing very much inside the hotel. I'll tell you that. Starbucks. Finally. Maid Cafe. <laughs> the Nico Chan Cafe. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell happened here? What is this? How come? How come my builder is levitating in the air? Oh Jesus! What the hell is freelance police? Nick Slaughter. <laughs> Wait, what? Small office for private investigator types or anthropomorphic canine detective and a hyperkinetic rabbity thing? <laughs> Absolutely. Oh my god. Please make this. Oh, I, I was hoping Scruff McGruff would end up in here, but it's just some dude with a powerful mustache. All right, with all the Starbucks and uh, Neko cafes and everything anyone could want, we're slowly moving up here to past floor 270. Need more freaking connections. Oh my god. 
It's so much more painful than I had originally thought possible. I don't need, I'm not even going in a straight line anymore. I don't even care. If I was to do this for a thousand floors and like try and keep everything in the same line, I would, I'm already going completely insane. Here's your friggin' water connection. I hope you enjoy, you bastard. Here's some electricity as well. Oh my God, I'm halfway there. I have to go like take a shower and just let the construction crew build this because it's gonna take like 20 minutes for them to catch up to where I have the less stuff to put the elevators in, god damn it. We're at 750 now. I think that my staff is somewhere in the 300s. I don't really know. I don't wanna check because it takes me now about four minutes to scroll down to the bottom and then scroll back up so it's such a pain in the ass, I just, pretend that I think I know where they might be at any given time. As we're at the 900th floor here now, uh, if anyone in the comments section says to um, try 10,000 floors next time, no, no, I'm never doing this again. I've, I've been at this for hours and hours now. I have to, I'm determined to finish it, but I'll never go higher than this. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go and put in the elevators now and then regret my life choices because I have to put in the HVAC and the power closets all the way up here. <laughs> I really don't know why, but as as the building builds itself, like it's a bunch of lies and slander. Like I said, it says some of the destinations are not reachable. They totally are. But it's like my builders just are, just got tired after the 800th floor. They just don't give a shit anymore. So they're only going to build like bits and pieces of it. You're a liar. You lie. The destination is not unreachable. Two people just went in and bought coffees. You can't lie to me. Hey, jackass. Yeah, you realize that there's there's a lot of stuff for you to continue building, right? Like, you could keep going if you wanted to. Destination unreachable. Yeah, that's what I thought. You friggin' lying whore. I knew it. Keep going. What are you doing? Yes. I don't know if it matters or not, but right around level 500, I'm gonna go ahead and put this art plaza in here, because why not? Can you guys build this? Or Oh, now, now you can build it. Okay, good. Yeah, get your ass back up there and keep going. I've decided we need more aquariums about halfway up the building, because if, if these explode, I want at least 500 floors below this to get all soaked. I put in like an appliance store, like for electronics. What kind of gangster ass electronics are these? This is like 1999. Okay, I don't know what happened, but they're, they're, they're doing it. Like all the spots that they just left open, they're finally completing, which I'm pretty happy about because the tower looked like crap because it was only halfway made. Build a metro station. Great. That means I get to hold down on the S key for the next four minutes. Oh my God. They finally completed the top of the friggin' building. I can put a restaurant up here. A rooftop restaurant. Rooftop beer garden? Hell yes. Oh yeah. That's the stuff right there. Miami beer garden, baby. So if anyone actually wants to go up the 1,000 floors that it takes, they could um they could be sipping on some two mile high beers. That's pretty cool. Destination unreachable. You lying whores. Oh, even my even my work crew is over here getting some beers. Wait a second. I don't know if I'm okay with this. Like my construction crew is drinking on the job. Is this okay? Wow, a lot of people want to come up to the thousandth floor. What the hell? More Starbucks and made cafes. This is what our economy is going to be built off of. Perfect. I don't know where the hell Tim Hortons is. I'm kind of curious. It's not sure. Is it in donut shop area? It's not. I just don't know where the hell it would be. Filling this thing up is going to be a total pain in the ass. The other thing I'm finding out is that because you've got like 6 billion freaking tenants, it's almost impossible to keep everyone happy. There's just always fires and, and things burning and people moving out randomly and stuff like that. The biggest freaking issue is the staff constantly saying that they're unable to get to these areas when they absolutely can. It's like they were able to build these two areas, but they didn't build this. Now oh, some of these are getting rented out. See, my staff decides to build about half of the studio suites up here for people. Honestly though, <laughs> I've had enough. 
There's so many connections that I have to keep making as I start building this place up. It is just awful because you put down a couple of things like maybe a, another aquarium or another one of these <laughs> freaking people leaving all the goddamn time. <laughs> Come on. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Project High Rise where we built a thousand story high rise and found that there's there's no good reason to ever do this. Don't do this to yourself. It's totally pointless. The game can't support it. It always says the destination isn't there. I don't know. Just don't do it. Save yourself the trouble. Until next time, stay foxy and much love.